In this lesson, we're gonna talk about pancreatitis. Let's review the functions of the pancreas. It's like we always say, once you understand how something works, it's much easier to understand what happens when it doesn't work right. Click the link below or visit nursing.com slash NFN for a free NCLEX ebook covering the 77 key topics. So the pancreas is both an endocrine gland and an exocrine gland. Endocrine gland means it secretes hormones directly into the bloodstream. Now those are insulin, which decreases blood glucose and glucagon, which increases blood glucose. So exocrine means it secretes these chemicals into the GI tract. The pancreas secretes these digestive enzymes like amylase, lipase, trypsin, and nuclease. Amylase breaks down carbs, lipase breaks down fats, trypsin breaks down proteins, and nuclease breaks down nucleic acid. So the pancreas plays a huge role in digestion and absorption of food and nutrients. So pancreatitis is inflammation of the pancreas. That's the itis part. The pancreas will actually start to eat itself or auto-digest itself, auto-digestion. Now, ultimately what happens with this is the pancreas begins to lose function. The two most common causes are chronic alcoholism and gallbladder disease, especially if these ducts become obstructed. You can see here that the exocrine duct of the pancreas joins with the common bile duct right before it enters the duodenum. So if there are gallstones blocking this up, or if there's inflammation here in the bile ducts, it can obstruct the pancreatic duct as well. Then we also have things like hyperlipidemia, peptic ulcer disease, and of course, pancreatic cancer, which can all cause inflammation of the pancreas or pancreatitis. The number one symptom of pancreatitis is severe severe, severe abdominal pain. This is an extremely painful disease. Now the pain is usually mid epigastric of the left upper quadrant. They're also going to experience nausea and vomiting and a lot of weight loss because of malabsorption. They're also going to have an elevated white blood cell count, bilirubin, ALP, elevated amylase and lipase because they aren't being used. You're also going to see colon sign, which is this bruising around the umbilicus like you can see here all right and gray turner sign which is bruising on the flank and finally you're going to see statorrhea which is fatty foul smelling stools now if you've ever smelt this before you're never going to forget it if you need more help breaking down complex topics like this one make sure to head over to nursing.com nfn click the link in the description below or scan the qr code to unlock your free NCLEX review that covers 77 must-know nursing topics. Make sure that you learn this, that we love you guys. Now go out, be your best self today, and as always, happy nursing.